Now let's go back in time to the year 1960, when Ward, Piggy Lambert, and John Wooden were enshrined as the first player-coach combination in the same year. At that same time, our next inductee was the captain of Coach Harold Anderson's Bowling Green Quintet, and on his way to an exciting career that only a few could match. This year, for only the second time, a player-coach combination will once again grace the induction ceremonies of this Basketball Hall of Fame. Another player, of course, is Nate the Skate Thurman, one of the finest defensive masterminds in the history of the game. Thurman, in his seasons with the Golden State Warriors, was known to turn the game around with his defensive ability, which left superstars such as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell, all of them said that this is the toughest center they ever played against. He had one of the most dynamic games in the history of pro basketball. 1974 against Atlanta, he's the only player to ever have four departments of double figures. He scored 22 points, he had 14 rebounds, 13 assists, and he blocked 12 shots in the game. Well, that's one great game, isn't it? Fourteen years, Hot Rod said, and that's a long time in any professional sport. Not only a survivor, but a star in the tough NBA. With San Francisco, Chicago, and Cleveland. Nate now acts as the Director of Community Relations at the San Francisco Warrior Headquarters, where he works hard to complete speaking engagements around the Bay Area and assign other Golden State Warrior basketball players to serve the public. And Nate, on behalf of the authority vested in me by the Honors Committee and by the trustees of the Basketball Hall of Fame, I have the distinguished honor to enshrine you as a player in this Basketball Hall of Fame with all the rights and privileges. And congratulations, Nate, on a marvelous career. to be able to present awards and also fortunate enough to be able to receive awards. But I must say that this evening, none of those previous occasions have made me ready for the feeling that I have this evening. 20, 36 years ago, when I first touched the basketball, I had no idea where Springfield was or what the Hall of Fame was about. Seven years ago, that I enjoyed, I have to thank a few people who were very instrumental in me being here. And first, I would like to thank my parents. And I would like to thank my high school coach, Joe Seifert. And I would like to thank my inductee, fellow inductee this evening, the late Harold Anderson, who was my college coach. And I'd like to thank also my first professional coach, who happened to be Alex Hammond. And I would like to thank a friend, a player, and now my boss, Al Adams, and a great friend of mine, Gordon Gartrell. But most of all, I'd like to thank basketball itself. Because as I embark on a new career, I realize that these people and the game of basketball has given me the courage and the strength and the fight to be able to go out and try and duplicate this in another profession. To you, the selection committee, I thank you very much for picking me out 
among the tall pines and the great players who have played my position. And for that this evening, my family and myself will be eternally grateful. 